on any other day, we could take a shot like this on a brown bear with pretty much no problem, but today, we're running with just soft point bullets, and I think I'd be a little smarter to try to alert him and maybe go for a standing heart shot just because we don't have to penetrate through as much flesh. So, I'm not sure how obvious it was, but his health percentage went down a lot faster with that hard shot than it would have even with polymer tip bullets, because although these soft point bullets do lack in penetration, they make up for it a good bit in the amount of damage they do. Now the thing is, a hard shot is a hard shot, so it's still going to say 100% damage here, and really, heart and double lung even would have helped our case. But Ever since the introduction of the new scoring system back in February of 2020, the practical usage for soft point bullets has pretty much gone down to zero, because all you need to do is hit a vital, but I thought it might be a challenging hunt and one that requires a little bit of creativity to make certain shots. So running with the 300, the 270, and the 223, all with soft point bullets, and we'll kind of see how we can do with it out here on Medved. Now to clarify, a broadside angle is generally ideal for the soft point bullets. When it came to the brown bear, he was kind of quartering towards us, and I figured if we could get him to stand up, we could just get an easy shot in there to the heart without having to go through like a shoulder or anything like that. But for the majority of this hunt, this is essentially what we're looking for. Now, a 270 soft point bullet is going to be a little bit underpowered, but you can see it's taken down the reindeer pretty quickly. And in preparing for this video, I got to thinking, Probably a lot of players that didn't start playing Call of the Wild until after the new scoring system may not even know why soft point bullets really even exist because really with the new scoring system, all you need to do is hit a vital and therefore you would probably want the bullets that have the best penetration. Then if you hit a shoulder or have to go through more flesh, you have a better chance at still reaching the lung. But back when quick kill mattered, especially longer shots, generally the soft point bullets would bring the animal down faster and at that point, there was a valid reason to use them, so I think it is going to be fun to see how kind of quickly we can take certain animals down. In that case, it would have been pretty similar, I think, single lung with the soft point versus double lungs with polymer tip, but with the 270, the single lung soft point might have been better. By the way, I don't know if it is all that noticeable, but there is some kind of sound bug going on. There's like no wind sounds or anything like that, and it's only like every third step. It gives us like half of the audio and then it cuts out, so I have no idea what that's about. Maybe it's something with the Rancho update, but anyway, single along with the 270 at 200 meters, we lost about 20 of the maximum score. It would be 450 as the session score if we didn't lose what I assume is a bit of quick kill. So yeah, 84.17%. So if everything was as it used to be on the old scoring system, that would have been still a gold probably, but not quite as high scoring. Whereas now, of course, that doesn't matter, but I guess that's going to be why it's more interesting to do now than it ever had been in the past. You know, it's not the most interesting species, but this is one I'm actually kind of curious to see what happens with. I don't think I've ever shot a muster with 223 soft points. I'm pretty sure the only reason I owned 223 soft points was there was a period of time where, for whatever reason, geese were allowed to be taken with 223. And this was at the time where quick kill mattered, so the thought process was, if I could hit them with the 223 soft point, they would go down more quickly. And that may be the only time I've ever fired them. And it was good to see there. It brought down the mustier pretty quickly. I would say any quick kill that um, we lost would be minimal. In fact, the 200 session score would confirm 100% on the quick kill bonus. And we're not going to check that on every harvest. I was kind of just interested, but 150 meters, 223 soft point, at least on a mustier, actually did pretty good so as long as we have decent angles i don't think this hunt is going to be too much different but there's definitely going to be scenarios where we either have to call or get closer or just in general wait for animals to present a better shot angle for us unfortunately it seems as though the sound bug is here to stay i was able to fix it for the must deer by exiting to the desktop but unfortunately it's back yeah we didn't even get a sound there from the gunshot the uh chambering another round gave us a sound but that was about it and if that is going to be persistent i think we're going to switch maps and i was thinking yukon's probably the closest it shares at least the moose as a species reindeer and caribou are kind of close yukon can snow i mean it's kind of the best option i can think of medved is a map that i was kind of looking forward to hunting today but you can't even hear like footsteps animal calls 
it's just going to make it really, really tough. And at least we got to spend some time here. And, I mean, one thing I will say, that soft point round on the moose did pretty good. I guess, though, it is nice to wrap up with a gold moose for medved. 222.6. And actually, we got 100% quick kill on that with just a single lung at 130 meters. But, yeah. I am going to have to exit to the desktop again because I tried switching maps before and that doesn't fix it, but hopefully exiting the game and then going to Yukon, we shouldn't have to deal with this anymore. Well, that might have been a good move. We have a 252 to 306 moose out here. It is a level 4. This is a spot that I don't think I've ever gone to during moose strength time, and there's a ton of them here. Just the one big bull, but a bunch of cows. I'm wondering if there's any more around this lake. I wouldn't be surprised. I don't see anything immediately. We'll have to take another look, but it's this one up here. And by the way, right now Yukon is kind of broken as well. You can't fast travel to anything but tents, and luckily we have a number of those set up. But anyway, we'll focus on this guy for now. I think a frontal hard shot should be doable. It's about 200 meters. And I'm pretty sure, well, I thought a shot like that should be okay. I'm not so sure what we would have hit then. I don't think it is going to take him down. We'll have to see what he does, but if he'll even just go nervous out there at that range, we can attempt to just make a lung shot. I'm curious what we could have possibly done. He should stop at some point. Now, of course, we need a pretty good broadside angle, but he's not even, like, starting to drop. I mean, I think that is broadside enough. It's not like he's in a good spot, but... I'm pretty sure we can, well, hopefully get along. I'm not so sure we didn't just shoot him in the spinal cord. I mean, uh, there appears to be vital blood. Nice that we can actually hear footsteps as we get run over, by the way. But, I mean, hopefully we got that. I don't know if that is a diamond rack or not. Actually, now that I think of it, I think it's the same rack as our diamond level 4 from this map in the past. He is just a 269, and we did get gold. 590 kg is a pretty big 4, but... I'm shocked to see that soft point bullet didn't reach the heart. Maybe it was the range, but I know I've done it in a video a long time ago. We basically had a 243 soft point bullet moose heart shot, and I can't say it was a drop shot, but it definitely brought the moose down with full quick kill back on the old system. And to see the 300 fail to even reach the heart is kind of alarming. I think there's a genuine chance that a hunt like this is going to limit our ability to take, like, running shots. In that case, we got lucky and that fox was running basically broadside. But a lot of times, we do take, like, running quartering shots and stuff like that. And just due to the fact that we can't really penetrate through, say, like, intestines and reach lungs, it would be a lot tougher to expect to make a quartering shot. In the meantime, a random mythical gray wolf is definitely a welcome bonus skill. But yeah, I mean, at least in that case, just a 223 soft point bullet to the lung dropped our red fox. I was sort of surprised to see just how long that mythical lived after that lung shot, but maybe there'll be an explanation for that. I mean, it is vital blood. Right lung at 130 meters. We couldn't have done much better than that. I know the 270 is technically a bit underpowered for gray wolves, but we saw it do pretty well earlier on a reindeer, and... Technically, reindeer are a higher class, but I almost feel like the wolf took longer to go down. I am pretty sure that we're about to get attacked by a grizzly bear. I think when you're at this range, they do tend to turn an attack, so I'm trying to actually get closer. It's a rare thing to get to happen, but yeah. Well, that didn't even... That was interesting. For one, we didn't even hit it, but it just sort of had its aggressive animation but then left us I really wish we had polymer tip rounds because I feel like we could have done a lot better it's gonna die so at the very least we can maybe see what we hit there but I've never actually seen the bear attack animation because what usually happens is they kind of run over you and I think that animation does play but it's kind of through you in a way so that was kind of neat I actually did want to go to Rinker's the Bear Drink Diamond and try to get one. Probably in a more conventional manner than that, but that was kind of neat. I'm kind of pleased that happened. As for our shots, though, 
Intestines twice, actually. Kind of makes sense. Both were, yeah, far enough away that we definitely didn't hit when it was attacking us. I wish we could have. Like, if we could have made that shot as it was mid-animation, we probably could have gotten a cool screenshot out of it, but it was cool to see up close anyway. Admittedly, I was hoping for a slightly higher level grizzly bear, but it's so difficult sometimes to even find males. We'll consider a level 5 a win. I did want to alert him again. Kind of the same strategy as the brown bear back on Medved. And oddly enough, kind of beginning the hunt with a heart shot on two different bear species. I guess ultimately it did work out and we got our best kill here on Yukon, but I am still a little bit bummed that we didn't get to uh, continue with Medved. That was actually a double lung drop shot with the 300 soft point bullets. I mean, I think that does pretty well show like just how powerful they are, but generally you don't get to like hit a double lung shot. So you usually get that single lung and they run off, but in my mind that's better than a hard shot, just the fact that we got to see that. Not uh, the exact same thing that I said, where I thought we had pretty much started and ended the hunt with the same shot, but kind of a cool thing to sort of show the power of the soft point bullets off of it, but I am very much looking forward to like getting to hunt maps like Medved again a little more when this stuff is fixed, and hopefully that's going to be sometime in the near future. And Maybe we can revisit it with either different weapons or even the same ones when that happens. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.